In this video, we're going to sketch y equals x cubed take away 1 over x squared plus 1. OK, so we can't do any factorising to the numerator or denominator, so we'll just leave it alone. Right. So vertical asymptotes will exist when the denominator is 0. The denominator is always greater than or equal to 1, so there's no point where it's 0. So there are no vertical asymptotes. OK, how about where it crosses the x-axis? That's when the numerator is 0. So that will be when x is 1. Right, how about where it crosses the y-axis? That's when uh, x is 0, so we'll have minus 1 over 1. So at minus 1. OK, uh, how about the oblique asymptote? So we'll divide the numerator by the denominator. So x squared, 0x and 1. And we want x cubed, so that'll have to be x, 0x squared and x. Now, uh, we don't want any x squared, so that'll be 0x squared. So that'll be 0, then 0x, then 0. Now, we don't want any x's, so that will uh, be minus x in order to knock out the x's. And we want minus 1, and so that's my remainder. And so this is equal to x uh, plus minus x take away 1 over uh, x squared plus 1. Alternatively, you could write it as take away x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. OK, so y equals x is our oblique asymptote. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can find any points where the curve crosses the oblique asymptote. And so we need to solve x cubed take away 1 over x squared plus 1 is equal to x. So multiply up by the x squared plus 1. We'll get x cubed take away 1 is equal to x cubed plus x. OK. So uh, that will leave us with x is equal to minus 1. And so at x equals minus 1. And so minus 1. Didn't do that very well, did I? Minus 1, minus 1 must be a point of intersection with the oblique asymptote. OK, so the curve needs to tend towards that oblique asymptote. Uh, so it has to be below it here because it can't cross it, it only crosses it there. So we're going to have to be below it. Cross through at 1 and then come back round to cross through at minus 1. Um, now, it must do something like this in order to come up and then cross through at minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 on the um, asymptote, and then to come back round in order for it to then tend towards that asymptote from that side. So it's got this weird kind of uh, must come round and bounce in order to come back um, to come back on uh, the minus one there. I mean I guess could it you know could it do that? I guess it could. That might make a little bit more sense. Well, should we have a should we have a look? Should we have a C? Um, the way to determine that would be, you know, does it does it bounce there, or does it bounce there and come around that way? Um, what we would need to do is we'd need to substitute in a point between zero and minus one, and see if we're getting a value that is above or below minus one. Okay, is it above this dotted line, or is it below it? So let's try x equals minus a half and just see. So when x is equal to minus a half, uh, we're getting minus a half uh, cubed, take away 1. So we get minus 9 eighths in the numerator. And then we get minus a half 
squared oh, plus 1. So 5 quarters in the denominator. So minus 9 eighths, and we're dividing that by 5 quarters, and we get minus 9 tenths. Okay, so minus 9 tenths means it's above um, that dotted line, so it must look the way that I've drawn it. Okay, and so that is how we can sketch this strange looking uh, y equals x cubed take away 1 over x squared plus 1.